The spring season quickly approaching for UC men's golf as the Bearcats are set to compete in the Mobile Sports Authority Intercollegiate in Mobile, Alabama. Joined now by head coach Doug Martin and a little bit of time off from the fall season to the winter season, but uh, we've been blessed with a, a pretty mild winter up here in Cincinnati, haven't we? We, we have to this point. We've been uh, <clears throat> we've been very lucky. We've already made one trip down south to Fort Myers to practice, uh, played a match with Kentucky, which was which was great for for both teams just to kind of get some rust off and get back into the competitive mindset of of playing um, <clears throat> college golf. But you know, overall, we we've been outside a lot. We've been able to get a lot of work done. Um, probably played seven, eight, nine rounds of golf even here here since uh, since we got back from break. So. You know, I'm very excited, um, you know, to get the spring season underway. Let's take a look back at the fall season, a successful fall season for your team from uh, looking at a, a successful Bearcat Invitational. That was a, a very well-received tournament to the uh, the team victory up in Akron. And uh, Austin Squires getting the individual win up there with that uh, eagle on the last hole as well it was a good season. Yeah, I think the fall, the fall campaign was great. I think they're, you know, looking back at the successes that we had, I think, Taking um, our home tournament at Coldstream, I think that was a huge success. Bringing in the quality field that we brought in, and 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 having such a great event with Michigan State winning it, that was that was tremendous. Um, and and we've got Arkansas and Illinois added to next year's field, so it's going to be a great field next year. Uh, as far as winning at Firestone, anytime you win as a team, you know, winning in college athletics, I think your your average fan doesn't understand the difficulty of of winning games, winning tournaments, whatever it is. Um, it's just it's just very difficult, and there's a lot of work that goes into it, and and then being able to close, which we did a great job closing the event as a team. Austin Squires winning. Austin's developed into you know a top hundred player in college golf in the last six to eight months. Done a great job on figuring out his his weaknesses and and making them much 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 better. So <clears throat> I look look forward to uh, watching him play in the spring. But I think you know. Looking back at the fall, the only disappointment that I really had in the fall is we really didn't get a lot of help from our four and five man. And for us to have a great spring, we really need to have consistent play in the fourth and fifth spot. Any great team, if you want to be if you want to be a special team, you really need contributions from your fourth and fifth spot. And that's really where we're going to, I think, live and die in the spring. And, you know, we've got guys that are very capable. They just need to step up and, and take on the responsibility. Sometimes it's just a matter of finding that consistency, and we certainly saw that in the victory up at uh, Firestone in the fall. Taking a look now, I guess, ahead at the uh, the spring season, um, your uh, expectations, at least in terms of uh, the kind of tournaments that we're going to be see playing, obviously a good field uh, coming up at Mobile. Um, what kind of course are we looking at down there, and uh, what can we expect? Well, the Magnolia Grove is on the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail in Alabama. Um, <clears throat> it's a great golf course. Um, my son played there in college, and I've been able to, to went, went there to watch him play. The golf course sets up to the team very well, so I'm, I'm excited to get us down there. We will be playing on Dormant Bermuda, which is which is not the best grass to start off your spring season just because it's – muddy and thin and you know sometimes you get some very tight lies but we go from there to Colleton River um, in Hilton Head from there we go to San Antonio from San Antonio we go to uh, Mississippi State and then from Mississippi State we finish up the spring season at Purdue which is a host side of one of the regionals this year so the field at Purdue is going to be great and then we go to the the AAC championship but very excited um, again about the spring season I think this off season has been one of our better off seasons in two aspects. Number one, we've had tremendous work in the in the weight room, um, done a done a tremendous job. Some guys have changed their bodies. Some guys have increased club head speed, and and just overall, when you're in the weight room and the mental toughness that these kids are developing, you know, being in there pushing themselves and challenging themselves has been been great. And then really just being able to get outside, and and, and even if we've just been able to hit balls outside, you're able to see ball flight. You're able to do so many more things than being indoors so again very very positive off season for us and you know again moving forward like I said you know we've we've got some things that we still want to accomplish as a team those goals are still out there for us um, we just need we need to have some people step up and take some responsibility certainly a lot to look forward to uh, we saw what this team was capable of in the fall and uh, look forward to following you guys through the spring well thank you very much we appreciate the support all right, let's head Coach Doug Martin as UC Men's Golf set to begin the spring season as they head down to Mobile for the Mobile Sports Authority Intercollegiate.